of this universe enhances your power. When you know everything is in the hand of Allah, nobody can harm me anything. Now oh, your courage, you know. And a person again, he thinks he can do me something. He can harm me. He can bring some bad thing to me. Well, he will be fearing anybody, everybody. He will be always fearing. And the person who knows, nobody can do any harm to me. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله نا صاب من مصيبة إلا بإذن الله No harm can come to me. They might try their best. They can't do me any harm. Now your courage, your fearlessness, this cannot be measured. So because they don't know it, this is the truth that they don't know. That nothing can be can, can be done without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. قُلْ لَنْ يُسِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا In the next surah we shall read it. قُلْ لَنْ يُسِيبَنَا إِلَّا مَا كَتَبَ اللَّهُ لَنَا هُوَ مَوْلَانَا Nothing can happen to us except that with Allah. He has decided for us. And He is our protector, He is our friend. Whatever comes from Him, it's always welcome. Even if it is death, it's okay. It's actually the gateway to heaven, the gateway to Jannah. قِيلَ دْخُلِ الْجَنَّةِ قَالَ يَا لَيْتَ قَوْمِ يَعْلَمُونَ بِمَا غَفَرَ لِي رَبِّي وَجَعَلَنِي مِنَ الْمُكْرَمِينَ No sooner you are dead here in the way of Allah and you enter directly to the heaven. You don't have to wait for the day of judgment. These shuhada who lay down their lives in the way of Allah, they go direct. They will not be waiting for the day of judgment to come. They go direct. So how now, what thing can you know, can terrorize a Muslim or a Mu'min who is a true believer? يَا أَيُّهَا النَّبِيُّ حَمِّدِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ عَلَى الْقِتَالِ إِنْ يَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ إِشْرُونَ صَابِرُونَ يَغْلِبُوا مِئَتَيْنِ وَإِنْ يَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ مِئَةٌ يَغْلِبُوا أَلْفًا مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِأَنَّهُمْ قَوْمٌ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ الآن خفف الله عنكم Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has lightened it for you وَعَلِمَ أَنَّ فِيكُمْ ضَعْفَ And he knows that now a weakness has started within you Why? You know in the early days of the Madani period there were no munafiqeen. But now as time passed, this element started growing. So that was a sort of weakness. Because you know, after all they were legal Muslims. They were included as Muslims. I told you many a time that nowhere in the Quran the munafiqeen had been addressed as Ya Yu al Nafaku, Ya Yayu al Munafiqun. You don't find these words. Because they were also legal Muslims. Whenever something is said to the munafiqeen, Ya Yuladina Amanu, these are the words, because they also profess to believe. So actually, secondly, you know, the depth of commitment of those people who came from Makkah, who had undergone all the hardships, who had passed so many examinations and tests and trials and tribulations, you know, the depth of conviction with them, it is unimaginable. But the Ansar of Madinah, because they had not passed through such tests and trials and tribulations. So that was not the case. They were not equal to the Muhajirin. So now, as time passes, you know, taken collectively, the whole community, the average would go down. Although, you know, Ashabi Qur'an and Walloon, they remain at that level. They don't go down. But, you know, taken the community as a whole, the average will come down. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الآن خفف الله عنكم وعلم أن فيكم ضعفا. He knows that there is a weakness among you. وإن يكون منكم ميتون صابرتون يغلبو ميتين. If you are from you, there are hundred who are persevering. They will overcome two hundred. وإن يكون منكم ألفون يغلبو ألفين. And if from you there are one thousand, they will overcome. 2000, بإذن الله, with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, والله مع الصابرين. And Allah is with the, the preserving people who, who are persevering and who are steadfast. ما قال لنبي أن يكون له أسرا. Now this is a very sensitive issue which is being discussed here. You know, after the Muslims had won the battle of Badr, I told you 70 Mushrikeen were killed. From among the Muslims only 14, 13 on the spot 
and one was injured and he died on way back to Medina. The total toll from Muslim side was 14. The Kuffar, Quraysh, 70. Another 70 were taken prisoners, captives. Now this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so to say, using the uh, most, you know, lenient words, he was displeased with it. Why did you do it? You shouldn't have taken them captives. Because the, the power of kufr has not been, you know, broken up till now. If you have taken them captives, they will pay some ransom money and they'll go back. When they go back, they will again be able to come to fight against you. So actually there was a dispute because the Prophet ﷺ, he consulted his companions what we should do with them. His own inclination, because he was Rauf and Rahim, he was very lenient, very kind. To kill them, it was something, you know, against his nature. So he was inclined towards taking them captive and, you know, releasing them, taking some money and so on. Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu agreed with him, yes, this we should do. But Omar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he was very much against it, no. We should kill them all, so that, you know, this strength of kufr is initiated. It is broken, their backs should be broken. And he went to the extent that whosoever is closest in relation to any mushrik captive from among the Muslims, he should assassinate with his own hands his closest relative who has come here, who came here to fight against the Muslims and who has been taken into captive. But you know, later on it was decided, no, we shall keep them as captives and we shall accept the ransom money and then we shall set them free. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is declaring his displeasure over this decision. And this is one of those events about which it is said, Al-Haqq yantiqu ala lisani Umar. Kana rayuhu muwafiqan bil wahi wal kitab. Rather we should say, Wahi came muwafiqan bil rayuhi. Kana al-wahiyu muwafiqan bil rayuhi. Wahi came in agreement with his opinion. So this is the special station, uh, place and, you know, cadre and level of Hazrat Umar رضي الله تعالى عنه. الحق ينطق على لسان عمر. أشدهم في أمر الله عمر. ما كان للنبي أن يكون له أسرى. It's not befitting for a, for a prophet 